Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If if you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want me or us to react to, drop the link down below, and I will be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest. Today I'm going to be reacting to 10 surprising facts about inside the Kaaba. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. The Kaaba, as we all know, is a holy place for Muslims. And all Muslims desire to visit this place and perform their religious activities like Hajj and Umrah in the house of God. Now the word Kaaba is an Arabic word that really translates to cube house. And very few people have seen the building from the inside, although all Muslims wish to enter the building at least once in their life. The Holy Kaaba has been through a lot. Like for example, it's been on fire, it has flooded numerous times, times requiring it to be rebuilt on various occasions throughout history. Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to FTD Facts. Leroy Kenton here. And for this one, I'm going to be looking at 10 of the most surprising facts about the inside of the Kaaba that most people probably don't even know about. So let's get into the details. Yeah, pretty fascinating when you learn about what's on the inside. I'm sure it would be even more mind blowing actually seeing it in person. But number 10, we have the document hanging on the wall. Now in the direction of the the eastern wall between the door of repentance or Bab i Tawba and the Kaaba's door, there is a document printed on the board of marbles. The document is of King Fahd bin Abdulaziz al Saud, and now this document indicated the date of renovation. Next up, let's talk about the door of the Kaaba. The door of the Kaaba, also known as Bait ul Allah, is located at the eastern wall. Now, this door is believed to have been built by the Prophet Ibrahim himself. Previously, it was said that there was actually no door in the Kaaba. There was only a portal in the eastern wall to enter and exit the building. Now, the door from the interior is covered with a beautiful silk curtain, which has silver and gold now let's look at the stairs at number eight. So on the right side of the interior, there is a staircase leading to the roof, which is accessed through the door of repentance. Now the stairs leading to the Kaaba's roof are mostly made of aluminum. The right side interior of the Kaaba is a Levantine corner and resembles an enclosed rectangular structure that has no windows. In the Kaaba, you'll also notice some pretty interesting decorative stones. And one of these stones is decorated with Arabic calligraphy using the script of Kufic. Now the words that are embossed on these stones are made of beautiful colorful pieces of marble. There are a total of 10 stones inside the Kaaba and the words on them were written after the 6th century AH. Number 6 leads us to the curtain of the Kaaba. So inside of the Kaaba, it's covered with a red silk curtain that has a texture of embroidery on it. It has an inscribed weave in cream colored silk over the dark red ground. Now the central band has a prominent inscription of the Kalmat al Tawid, which means that there is no God except Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. Now other than this, there can be seen two expressions, Ya Mana and Ya Hana written in Kaswa. Both these expressions are names of Allah. Okay, number five leads us to the walls and floor. The walls of the interior of the Kaaba are decorated with colorful emblazoned marble. The floor of the Kaaba is made of marble and limestone. Now the color of most of the marble is white, but some pieces are colored as well. The 13 meter by nine meter or 43 feet by 30 feet interior walls are tiled with white marble halfway to the roof with darker trimmings along the floor. The interior floor is approximately 2.2 meters or seven feet three inches above the ground area where tawaf is performed. Now, number four is uh, pretty interesting. There's some pots hanging on the inside. Now, there's a number of golden colored lamp-like structures that are hung inside the Kaaba. Nobody yet knows the reason why they are hanging and what they really refer to, but these pots are hanged with a rope and the rope is tied to the pillars inside of the Kaaba. And these are referred to as gift of Kaaba. 
And for number three, let's actually look at the pillars inside of the Kaaba. Every single column inside of the Kaaba is in square shape. And between these three columns, a pillar is present. The pillar passes through all of the columns. Now there is a small altar or table set between one and the other two. Now the sides of the pillar are extended to the southern and northern walls of the interior of the Holy Kaaba. So these walls, the various lamp-like objects are attached. For number two, let's talk about the wood that you're gonna notice in the interior of the Kaaba. 49 pieces of the world's most powerful wood hold the inside of the Kaaba. The Kaaba's roof is supported by 49 pieces of teak wood imported from Burma and processed in Jeddah. They are evenly distributed on the Kaaba's walls Antique tree wood is well known for its durability. They grow in the Southeast Asian tropical forests and can reach a height of 45 meters. They are commonly used in shipbuilding and other high quality industries. Coming in at number one, we have the wooden columns. The area, which is less than 180 square meters, contains three wooden columns that support the Kaaba ceiling. Now, each of the dark brown columns, which is over 1,300 150 years old has a perimeter of about 150 centimeters and a diameter of 44 centimeters. Each column is supported by the square wooden base. Now a pillar suspended from the Kaaba's gifts is located between the three columns. All right guys, so that concludes this episode. This was a very interesting and technical look of some of the things that you're gonna notice inside of the Kaaba. And I know for many viewers watching this, this is probably the closest that you're ever gonna be the inside of the Kaaba, unless you're Muslim and you do the pilgrimage to Hajj and you're permitted to go inside of. But yes, most people don't necessarily get the privilege to see the inside. So want to share this video with you guys just to give you an idea of what would be on the inside. It's a fascinating question, even for non-Muslims, like wondering like what is inside the Kaaba? How does it look? So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. And also, if this is your first time stumbling across our FTD Facts videos, I want you to go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell. That way, you'll join the FTD Facts family and you'll be notified when we post new videos. Until next time, guys, stay awesome, stay educated, and I'll see you soon. I really love the, uh, the the time he takes to make these videos. Shout out to FDD Speaks or FDD Facts and they are doing an amazing job. I actually had no idea about all these things that have been said about the copper. I had no idea at it all. I honestly didn't have an idea and I, I highly doubt I reacted to something talking about such a thing. I was wondering why is there a limit to how many people actually get to visit the inside of the Kaaba? Because I'm sure many people want to visit it. What's the whole idea of limiting the numbers? And what can you do to actually get to see it? And for those that have seen it, how was the experience like? How was your experience? What did you feel? What did you think? And the, the pots? The gifts of Kaaba only because they're a mystery someone of course would ask what they really mean does anyone know what they actually mean or are they just mere decorations although since it's a holy place then it should have some meaning or they should have some meaning yeah I also realized that there are actually some drawers in there some white drawers what are those drawers for and um do people frequent it or is there a time period as to when people are actually allowed to enter the Kaaba or every day is a free pass, not a free pass, but like every day you can get the chance to actually enter uh, or you can enter provided that you have the permission. That's something I would really, 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 really love an answer to. Otherwise, like I said, very interesting video, something new for me to learn. And anyone with more information concerning this or just your opinion, thoughts and everything else, please comment down below. Your opinion is always welcome. Uh, if there's something you want me to react to, make sure, um, please mention it down below and I'll be more than glad to react to it. 
make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video